It is reported about the death of another high-ranking Russian officer in the Zaporizhia region. The battalion commander of the 382nd Separate Battalion of the Marine Corps, Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Gorin, was destroyed. In 2014, this battalion stormed the Belbek airport during the capture and annexation of Crimea. And the purge of Russian generals continues. Hero of Russia, Major General Vladimir Seliverstov, commander of the 106th Guards Airborne Division has been dismissed. His VDV troops committed atrocities and war crimes at the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine in Hostomel, Buka, and Irpin before they got annihilated. The nuclear cruiser Peter the Great, the flagship of the Northern Fleet, will be decommissioned. He will be replaced by the nuclear cruiser Admiral Nakimov as soon as the ship comes out of repair. The Russians are writing about writing off the leaky trough of the flagship. But here's the bad luck. Admiral Nakamov has been under repair and modernization since August 14, 1999. That is, for almost 24 years. Be that as it may, all Russian warships are heading in the same direction. The Secretary of the Ukrainian National Security Council, Danilov, on the counteroffensive. You can't eat unripe fruit. If you know the weather in Ukraine, you know when most fruits ripen, August and September. Chaos will come to Russia, no matter what happens. Not everyone in the West is ready for a Ukrainian victory. The big problem is that no one has an answer. What to do with Russia? What it will be like after the war? What will be its place in the world? It certainly won't look like it does now. It will be fragmented, fragmented from the inside, and the world should be ready for that, he believes. He metaphorically hints at when the real counteroffensive will take place. You need to know the weather when most fruits ripen in Ukraine, August, September. And let's see what is happening in Mother Russia. A five-story building is on fire in Omsk. The fire has covered more than a thousand square meters. A military truck plowed through 15 passenger cars in Moscow. No brakes or too much vodka, we don't know. This is the aftermath of the incident. Ukrainian defender from Georgian Legion tells what gifts she really appreciates. Короче, история жизни. Мне подарили бронежилет, и я от радости решила написать моей маме. Моя мама говорит: "Ну ты придурок", говорит. Все нормальные девочки радуются бриллиантам и дорогим машинам, а моя дочь радуется бронежилетом. Ребятки, что хочу сказать: меня уже дорогими машинами давно не удивит, поэтому если вы хотите удивлять, донатьте на грузинский легион. А у нас слава Украине, и нехай у наших врагов пирья у горле поросте. The Russian invaders inspect their destroyed equipment. Instead of searching for the remains of their colleagues, they decided to take the copper and hand it over to the metal collector. The tanks were destroyed in the spring, but the video has only just begun to circulate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 
Вот, любимка стоит, а это Чечня. This is what Ukrainians are fighting for. Ukrainian soldiers find the time to rescue and look after furry and feathery friends. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.